All right guys, so welcome back. We got the bike back up on the lift. So right now we're trying to diagnose why so much smoke is coming out of the exhaust. If you look at the exhaust itself, you can see it's just coated in oil inside there. So what we're thinking right now. Well, okay, so there's, what is there? Four, five possibilities? Four or five the possibilities. Of our head, why a bike would smoke so much. So let's see, number one, bed rings possible we looked in the motor though from the spark plug hole and the, the motor looked fresh i mean the top of the piston johnny looked inside there and said it looked clean like it never been run so it could be bad rings number one number two it could be bad valve seats so if we saw bad bad valve seals we'll see the oil coming down from the top end we'll open it up everything will be soaked inside there uh what else could it be it could be bad head gasket but the head gasket didn't seem bad. Uh, it could be an oil filter that's actually not returning and it's clogging up, right. causing the oil to go Flow back backwards. into the right. motor. So, or it could be over overfilled oil tank. That could do it too. Um, so again, oil backing up into there. So we're kind of leaning towards the, uh, the overfilled oil or oil not, too much oil, basically. So we check the level. Let's check, let's check let me check the level. We checked the level last time, but let me check it now. And looking like the dipstick shows the oil is at the perfect level. So again, if it was overfilled, it would be filled to the top. And again, that would cause it to smoke a little bit, but not like it was. I mean, it was just ridiculous. Uh, if you remember from the last video. So Johnny, show them what you found. The last possibility that we came to is, obviously we, we think that it's an oil issue. All the, these cone bottoms were all case breathers. So if you look down here, that's where the breather should be. Should be but if you look at it, it plug. it's plugged. <laughs> so there's no breather on this bike. I mean, there is one, but it's plugged. Yeah, so we don't know why he plugged it. Uh, maybe that was, an idea he had maybe it was because the bike originally had an oil cooler maybe it's because he didn't know what he was doing maybe because he knows something that we don't know again because we never spoke to him because he passed away we're back to the sherlock holmes thing with this bike so we're just trying to figure out what the hell people did so our next best bet is to unplug that case from the bottom put in a proper tube to let it drain and then remove this exhaust system which is probably filled with oil at this point wouldn't you say so i'd say it's pretty much filled <laughs> probably filled to the top so we're gonna we're gonna take it off we're gonna clean it out just make sure that we, we you know next time we started it's just nice and clean i just want to get that thing off and get this case finally breathing right because which it's been makes sense right I yeah mean, it's we been gotta have pro atmospheric pressure coming in it's got to equalize it it's like imagine you know an engine is just a giant pump right so you're just pumping and pumping and pumping away without a release. And amazingly, um, you know, if you think about all the things that could have gone wrong, we didn't blow out a base gasket. We didn't blow out a head gasket. We didn't, the bike ran. Yet. Yet. Well, I mean, if we ran it longer, it probably would have blown out some more, but obviously we weren't going to run it with it smoking like crazy. So I got a bowl underneath this. I'm expecting something to come out of this. Uh, so this guy put a lot of red silicone on everything, everything. on literally everything for no reason. There's silicone no reason. Sally. There's no reason to put silicone on a hose like this. All right, so I got that pushed out of the way. So hopefully, either pop or you can get it. No, I got it. And? So I'm gonna line up that bowl here, and we'll see how this goes. And then we'll There's the oil coming out. Yep. <laughs> See. All right, yeah, look at that. Got some oil coming down in. So, look at, look at this breather. I mean, I mean, dare me call it a breather. It's just plugged off. This should be an open tube to atmospheric pressure. That is certified garbage. I'll get a line cut, pressed on there, hose clamped on, ready to go. So to all those Harley guys who are just learning how to plumb their system, Please do not plug this line right here. This is your case breather. It needs to breathe, hence the name. Don't plug this. Okay, that's why we call Johnny Boy Wonder over there. 17 year old kid knows more than most Harley guys out there. I'm just a guy with a wrench. 
Quick little tick tip guys, the way you put your hose clamps on your hoses actually matters. So if I'm in a situation like I am right here, I don't wanna orient the hose clamp like this so the, uh, the little nut driver here is on the correct side. If I have it flipped, let's see if I can do this with one hand. If I have it flipped this way, then it's gonna be too close to the oil pressure gauge and all of the other fittings here and it'll kind of be a pain to tighten. So the way you put your hose clamps on actually does matter. Here's the breather hose I'm using. It's just 3 8 inch oil line, but we're very particular. So I took acetone or brake cleaner and I actually rubbed the markings off of this because if you saw a bunch of white lettering on this, it wouldn't look as good as just this plain black tube. Those are the little details that collect. Yeah, those are the little details that collectors look for and stuff. So you're gonna get this on, and then finally our shovel head will be able to breathe. So I got the new breather hose on there, and you can see it's a little bit lower, or actually a lot a bit lower than the bottom of the frame. But we'll probably cut this back once we know that uh, that this is breathing properly. And usually with bottom breathing cases and bottom breathing motors. What happens is once you start it up uh, after it's been sitting for a while a bunch of oil will is already in the bottom so once it starts turning it'll dump all the oil out and get everywhere and stain your driveway for years so we're gonna have a pan under this I'm gonna make sure that there's nothing that comes out of this it there's probably gonna be a little bit of oil that uh, sprays out of this because we have we started this recently but you know we'll see um, we're pretty, we're fairly certain that this motor is just filled to the brim with oil. We'll keep this long, then once we know that it won't spit oil everywhere, trim it back, tie, zip tie it up to the frame, nice and neat, and you'll never see it. Next thing that we have to do is we have to take off uh, the exhaust here. We're gonna take it off the muffler and then the headers in the front. Um, we're gonna do that to clean out the exhaust because it is coated in oil. I mean, like, coated in oil not exactly a clean exhaust so we're gonna take this part clean it out and then slap it back on okay, okay so we're taking the exhaust off there's no reason rhyme or reason why some of this is here uh i don't even know what it is it's like orange sealant gasket maker look look at look at this look at the end of that uh, is why it, is it blue now well, I don't know if that's like Loctite. That's not Loctite, that's sealant. Yeah, he just... Uh, so he put sealant on. sealant all around oh, the exhaust, which you should never do. I There's wouldn't no do reason. that. There's no reason to do this stuff. Get a, get a good gasket, get a good seal, and just, it should work. Unless something is so off and cattywampus that it's not gonna work. Don't take the cheap route when doing stuff like putting the exhaust on, because if you just put this on right, it'll take five minutes to take it off, five minutes to put it on. But right. if you take the cheap route, use what you, you know, what garbage you already have, then it'll take, what, hours to get this off if it, you know, if, yeah, if this becomes nasty really on us. A well-designed bike is a bike that's easy to work on, you know? I mean, it doesn't take more time to design something correctly. Yeah, the time... Do all this weird stuff. The time that you spend actually designing and doing stuff right on these bikes, you'll save <laughs> in headaches, hours and hours of headaches yeah. later on down the road. So definitely take the time, do stuff right, don't do garbage like this. Yeah. Okay, we'll have last little bolt back here. And it's coated in silicone. Why would it be? Every single thread on it is coated in good old, get a close up of that. There you go. Look at that garbage. Yeah, nice. So, silicone system. All right. Okay, well that, that washer stuck to it. That's a part of it. And there's silicone right in there. Ew. Okay. Gross. There we go. All right, now let's dump, dump it because it's going to be probably full of pearl. Black and sooty. It's a little, you see a little <laughs> wet there. <laughs> Look at this. There's just silicone, silicone everywhere. Please mm. don't silicone your everywhere gaskets. This okay. is not 
This is the wrong gasket to silicone. I'm telling you right now, it'll melt. I think that right along that edge right there, that's melted silicone. Don't, even if it's high temp stuff, it's just yeah. disgusting. So we're being really careful with this exhaust right now because we are, oh my gosh. <laughs> we, we're fairly certain it's filled with oil. Actually, we know it's filled with oil. This thing smokes. All right, so we're gonna bring this outside nice and gentle. Make sure not to spill any oil and then we'll get this cleaned up. Let's see if we can dump it, see if there's anything in it. Let me get a better, hold on. Bring it around here. I'm, I'm fairly certain there's not much in here, but. We'll so, see. and that would stick to our theory of it just being basically like a misty vapor because yeah, I don't think if there much was, in there. yeah, it doesn't look like anything. But again, we just wanted to make sure because what if that thing was filled with oil? What if we had a, I think it was just a vapor from and that was, and the, the motor and not the having anywhere to breathe, off. you know? If the motor's not breathing, right? If the breather's, the bottom breather is clogged, it's gonna just create a vapor basically in the case, which is just gonna silicone in every <laughs> single layer. Look at that, dude. Okay, yeah, let's let's keep these little guys, these little metal spacers though. I'm, I think, oh, look at it, you can see it's molten. I'll clean all this off. There you go. Part of the silicone is liquefied because of the high heat. So to be honest, we tipped this over and not, no oil came out. So we're assuming that it's not filled with oil and there was just a mist that got in the exhaust and burned off when we started it. So we're gonna put new gaskets on this and we're not gonna put silicone on it. <laughs> what? Bolt, bolt no. it back up. No, Come on. I'm not allowing it. Why are you being so unfair, dude? Bolt it back up to the bike. I want silicone. And we'll get this thing running with, with our new, stop it, with our new breather. Check out these new gaskets. These are beautiful. Brand spanking new. We have these just sitting in the drawer. So, I don't know which way goes. Like Does that? this way go up? Yep. Okay. yep, yep, yep. All right, look at that. That's gonna be nice. Nice and pretty. Get this buttoned up. Next time you'll see, I'll be back on the bike. All right, guys, we got the exhaust all bolted up. Everything's sealed, ready to go. We got the breather tube on. Now, hopefully, fingers crossed. Plugs are cleaned off. Plugs are gapped. Everything looks good there. Plugs are fine. We assume no um, ring. Well, rings. There's not much oh. compression, and hopefully, the valve stems are okay. So, hopefully, the breather removal of the plug i guess um that should fix this uh issue that we're having with the smoke and hopefully it should run fine so we're going to roll the bike out and try and get it started
fifth try, we got this thing running perfectly. And I, I mean, it sounds amazing. There's no smoke. It's getting around 45 pounds of oil pressure just idling. I mean, this thing's a runner. It sounds really good. And also has an open belt, so I can't stop looking at it. Check this out. How can you not love that? How can you not love that? What do you think? I think it's great. And the motor sounds fantastic. That light works. Yeah. High, high, high low. Great light works. I, mean, I think the thing's running great. Wow. Woohoo! Oh. Okay, so. All right. I hate to say we figured it out, but worries of the head yeah, gasket, man. the rings, the valve seats, none of those were the problem. The problem was just that stupid little case breather being clogged. That was it. That and The one tube, though. one tube with the plug in it was the thing holding this yeah. thing back from running like that. And I mean, always, it just shows you it's always something tiny little thing that someone else does before we get to these bikes and or something we do. But most of the time, it seems like when we're putting together these bikes, it's something someone else did before us. But we got it running. Sounds yeah. great. Was wow. it two kicks? two kicks one with a little pop and then second one did you see it barely caught on like it barely started to kick over and then it just caught on and went wow all right i'm i'm stoked about that now that we know that it runs and rods don't shoot out of the motor into the stratosphere that sounds great sounds great that means that we can move ahead getting these forks to actually you know work, work. And then going through cleaning the stuff, fixing little things here and there. Wow. That's great. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. I'm stoked. So next time you see this bike, we'll be working on tearing apart the front end probably. And fork stops. There's no fork stops. It's terrifying to turn this thing just around in the driveway. So that's it for this time. See you on the next episode. Peace.